Okay, well, a lot of people have been having issue or have had issues timing their motor, their cam timing. Um, now you can see that this motor is dead set. We got the timing rocket T. If I can get it to focus, yeah. And we have my uh, the circle on the cam sprocket lined up perfectly with the notch in the head. Okay, now some people have problems getting that set. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take it apart. This is just a spare motor I got. I'm actually going to take it apart and redo it just for the purpose of uh, this video. Alright, so let's get the cam sprocket pulled out. Alright, so you're going to be probably putting your motor together and you'll have gotten this far using maybe my other videos. And um, you're going to be setting up the cam timing. Now, unfortunately, if you, have, if you are this far, then, um, well, it kind of sucks. Because it's easiest to time the motor when the head is actually off um, and just eyeball it. And then you'll be usually really close and maybe off by one tooth. But let's say that that's not what you did and that your cam timing is way off. So I'm going to put it off by like, like five or six teeth here, maybe. All right, so now when I line up the T mark, now when my T mark is lined up, my circle is off by one tooth. How did that happen? All right, let me mess it up some more. All right, so let's pull this off and put it way down there. Okay, now it's off by like 90 degrees. T mark there, and the, the circle is right there. Okay, well the best way to do this is to have the head off and then you put this at the T and you just look, make it pretty much a straight line as possible and just put the circle mark there. Right? Some people say, well some people they just, they can't, they forget to do that or they don't want to do it like that or whatever. Alright, so I'm also going to spin my camshaft over here. See the camshaft is spinning? I'm going to put it up a little bit. Okay? Alright, so now basically what you have to do is um, inchworm this over, which is not really the best way to do it, but if you already have the head on, then it's the only way to do it. So you just inchworm this over. See this? I'm just doing one tooth at a time here. For people with bigger fingers, this is probably going to be kind of hard because you're working inside this little tiny space in the head. All right, I think I'm pretty close. Just one more, maybe. All right, so now I'm just going to check this. G mark still. And there we go. Set up. So now my timing is correct. But then, everyone has problems lining up the, uh, the holes in the cam with the holes in the, um, the sprocket. Um, another thing, people say that if you have your cam sprocket on 180 off, it won't run or whatever. It actually will run. It'll, it'll be exactly the same. Nothing will change on the CR50 motors or any CDI motor, any 12-volt CDI motor, because these are exactly 180 degrees apart, the two bolts. And the cam is also. So basically, all that's going to mean is that when you set your timing, this circle is going to be over here when the motor is at top dead center compression stroke. And then when it's actually when the circle is here, that's just going to mean that it's on top dead center between exhaust and intake. That's all it's going to mean. It doesn't make any difference. It really won't. But now, anyway, to line up the cam sprocket with the cam, basically what you need is a really small like a pin or something. So I'm just going to use a little jeweler screwdriver. That's all I'm going to use. Right, and then I'm going to go as best as I can and through the cam. I'm going to rotate it. Just stick this into one of the screw holes as close as I can to lining up. And now you'll see that the screw holes are lining up. And uh, to demonstrate that, I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to hold the cam sprocket. I'm going to spin the cam sprocket, and you'll see the bolt holes disappear and come back. Okay. So now, at this point, you just, uh, you put, if, you're, if you have a CR50 motor, you'll just put that little dowel back in. But I'm using an older Z50R motor. Actually, I think this is a Z50A. Which one is this? Yeah, this is a 75 motor. Or 76, no, this is a 1979 Z50R motor. So anyway, you put your, uh, this is, on these motors, you put on the little pressure plate, the oil pressure plate. And uh, 
Just get the two of these in for now. And screw them in. Just until they stop. Get the last one in. What this plate does on the older motors, you don't want to leave this out. This plate leaves about a millimeter total diameter bigger or a half a millimeter on each side around this around this bolt and uh, if you don't have it then the oil will be able to flow just it'll just flow right through and there'll be nothing to push it onto the cam lobes and you'll actually um, score up your rockers and the cam and the cam lobes so this this little plate here I actually had to make this one because the previous owner lost it this little plate actually um, keeps the oil pressure up so that uh, so that the oil actually doesn't just flow right through here and back down the cam galley it actually flows into the rockers and everywhere around the head so then you just tighten these up to 10 foot pounds or just snug them up there you go take your um, well I guess you should probably double check your work make sure that's at the T mark not, not lined up with the notch and circles lined up there and there you go now your motor is set just slide this back on there with the new gasket if you need it. Snug up the bolt on the opposite side of the head. And just torque it down to 10 foot pounds. Carefully, don't over tighten it because the aluminum threads will strip. I actually had that happen with one of these the other day. And you'll have to get in the cover or use a helicoil or something. And there you go. Timing is set. Cam timing is set on your motor. Very easy.